After rocket fire Israel's Bennett says Iran has taken Lebanon hostage. Israeli Prime Minister Naftali Bennett said on Tuesday, we won't let Israel's sovereignty and Israel's security be hurt, while speaking about two rockets recently fired from Lebanon into Israeli territory. The Israeli military said its artillery shelled southern Lebanon early Tuesday after two rockets were fired from there into Israeli territory. Israel's army said in a statement that aerial defenses intercepted one of the rockets, and the second fell in an open area. No injuries or damage were reported. Visiting a town near the Lebanese border, Israeli Prime Minister Naftali Bennett said, anyone who tries to harm us will pay a painful price in return. Bennett also said Lebanon is on the verge of collapse, blaming that on Iran and adding that the people of Lebanon were taken hostage. The UN peacekeeping force in Lebanon, known as UNIFIL, said its radar detected rockets fired from southern Lebanon toward Israel just before 4 a.m. Subsequently, Israeli artillery fired toward Lebanon, the UN force said. The incident along Lebanon-Israel frontier came hours after a Syrian military official said Israel carried out airstrikes near the northern Syrian city of Aleppo. The Syrian state news agency said air defenses intercepted most of the missiles in the attack. Israel has carried out scores of airstrikes in Syria in recent years targeting Iranian forces there and attacking what Israel says are weapons shipments bound for the Iranian-backed militant group Hezbollah in Lebanon.